Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be quickly discussing horseshoe nails. Starting from size 2 is what I generally tend to have in the van. Starting from size 2, which are a very, very small nail. We then go up to size 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and even size 8. Size 8, as you can see, comes in a smaller box. The reason being, you don't tend to use them so often. So what we have here, my personal brand is that I prefer to use these. I first started using them while working at Buckingham Palace for the Queen. We had a few to test um, from Kirkhart. Um, that was one of the benefits about working at the Palace is that you get to test a lot of products. While working at Buckingham Palace, one of the, the cartons, boxes of products that I had to test was actually these nails here, the Liberty. And ever since then I've actually stuck with them because I like them. They're very easy to get on with. I, I've never had any problems with these nails. What I like about this box is it's all in plastic. Um, it's easy when you have it in the top of your toolbox and it starts raining, you just close the lid and keep all the nails dry. You're not going to get any damp nails. Um, it's a nice handy container to be able to have. It's a fantastic, fantastic box, great design. So what we have, I tend to start at number two, so E2, and E means uh, European. And what, what, what E is actually talking about, that's the size of the head of the nail. So when we're talking about the head of the nail, that's this here. A reason why there are so many nails, starting from the size number two, going up to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, the reason for the numbers is because you can end up having a shoe like this, very, very tiny, cute aluminium shoe, obviously for a very small pony, up to a shoe like this. Now this is absolutely huge and this is going to be used pretty much on, on a shire. Um, this particular horseshoe here is from the horses that are actually working at Hampton Court Palace. They're fantastic horses, they're the shire breed of horses. Um, there's very few left in the country actually and the, the team that are working at Hampton Court Palace and around Richmond, the team there are actually keeping the breed going and they're doing some fantastic work. So if you have a look down in the link or down in the description, I'll, I'll actually put a, a link over to their website and so you can see what work they're doing. Fantastic team, a great bunch of people. So with such a shoe like this, you're obviously gonna need to be using the bigger nails, so somewhere around maybe a 10. Now again for the pony, the pony shoe, I'll tend to use like a number three. A number three is a lot smaller fits in there lovely there you go by taking this as an example you're going to see that here we've used an e3 now and the reason being is that the head is a lot smaller the actual shanks of the main body of the now is a lot smaller and the shoe is a lot smaller so you're going to have to use the nails which actually fit into the shoe and compare into the size and the weight of the horse because at the end of the day the nail is going to have to also be able to hold that horseshoe tight onto the hoof um, without any sort of wiggle movement because if you're going to get wiggle movement from from the shoe um, it can end up that the shoe starts uh, falling off that the hoof will start breaking out um, you're going to have to make sure that you have the correct nail size for the correct shoe so now you know the reason why you get different sizes. On top of different sizes, you also get different shapes and you're gonna have different shapes because for horses, like race horses, gonna, the race horses take a very sm small light, um, a light aluminium shoe or a training plate. And the way that the nail holes are punched in, in, the, in the, the shoe for the warm bloods or hot bloods, the way the nail holes are punched in the shoes is um, very very different and it's not going to accept one of these E slim nails or um, an E nail just because of the, the section of the metal. So there we have it. We have the very small pony shoe and we have the very big shire shoe. So that's one of the reasons why you're going to have very different size nails. If you just take a browse up to this link here 
it will actually take you to another video that we did and it was of a lame cold blood a very very cute horse lovely horse it had a humongous crack in the sole and the horse was very very lame we actually we put two horseshoes together into one to build one type of shoe um, then we put all these little other bits of scrap metal together and built this horseshoe that looked like it wouldn't be out of place on a robot scene uh, it's absolutely fantastic video check it out the reason why i decided to show you the big shire shoe and also to show you the aluminium shoe um, while discussing about the, um, the nails and the size of the nails is because with the shire shoe i'm actually going to be hand making some of the shire shoes you, you're going to be able to see the video and watch that happen i'm going to hand make some of the shire shoes just from a piece of metal and with these shoes i'm actually going to send them to london they're going to be used on them shire horses working around hampton court palace and richmond so as a gift to to the team over there that are doing some remarkable work um, i wanted to custom make some of the horseshoes and send them over the reason why I've used some of those uh, aluminium shoes is because we also have videos where you can see those shoes being used on horses with problems. So for example, laminitis. So we've actually put uh, two pairs on last week. Um, we had two laminitics last week. Um, if you look down in the description, you can actually see a link and I'll link that over so you're going to be able to see. Um, see those aluminium shoes in action you can see me putting the aluminium shoes on and um, and also which type of impression material i'm going to be using with those with the shire shoes you're going to have to subscribe because if you subscribe the moment those shoes are being made and being posted off to london and then they will be put on the shire, shire horses which are working around london and around hampton court palace um, and around richmond park the moment i've made that video i'm gonna launch it again so if you subscribe you're going to get notification that that video is now online this is going to be a fantastic video and the reason being it's for a fantastic cause so stay tuned please like this video like the rest subscribe follow us on this journey this journey is going to be a little bit different it's going to be a little unusual and i'm looking forward and uh, i hope you're looking forward to join us on this journey too thank you very much